what's up you guys it's chanel tuning in from kingston jamaica and currently i am up the, in the hills of jamaica i'm staying at my stepmother's house for some while while my dad is here in jamaica so that kind of explained this setting going on either ways today i want to talk about college struggles that i'm sure we all can relate to and trust me the struggle is real if it's the first time that you're seeing my face then it's probably because you're not subscribed to this channel you can subscribe by clicking that red button down below underneath the video that's called that's marked subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like the video and also leave a comment to let me know if you can relate to any of these college struggles now without further ado let's go into the video struggle number one finding our classes now I don't know what is it about my university but for my university they'll give you your timetable with the time of the class that you've chosen and they'll smack some letters some letters together just random letters i guess it's in the word of the building where the class is and they expect that somehow you can interpret it for example now when i first got on campus i was like what the hell and then not only that when you ask around directions and you say to someone okay so i can find caramac someone's like oh yeah you know i think it's around there like around like around there and go behind that building when you actually go to that building you end up here you realize you're actually in the wrong classroom and then you get thrown out in shame <laughs> Struggle number two, <laughs> the North Pole effect. You know, this effect relates to the fact that these classrooms are extremely cold. Miss, you can't lock up the AC. <laughs> Miss Rupert. Miss Rupert. So I have a class where there's six ACs in one classroom and it's like about 30 students and I'm just like why? But lately, thank God our lecturer has been feeling the coldness too so he's starting to turn them off a little bit. <laughs> Making friends. Number three. Now for me, I'm a very quiet person like when I'm at school. I'm not this jolly and whatever to be honest. I kind of stick to myself while on campus but that doesn't mean that i don't want to make friends but usually whenever i try to like have a conversation with somebody it always ends up in the most awkward way and i just started feeling you know what maybe i should just go in isolation and just not bother to make friends oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm so so sorry that's fine that's fine so uh, you go to ui yeah, i go to ui i'm doing software engineering so what are you doing? I'm in journalism. Okay. Yep. Right. I'll be on my way. This way. And the last struggle that I have to relate to you guys is staying balanced. Prioritizing and staying organized is so hard for college because you have a bunch of stuff that you want to do you want to join societies you have assignments you have essays to be done there's so much to do along with going on with the rest of your life outside of that and prioritizing and organizing is a big thing because if you don't do this then i guarantee that you're probably gonna fail then you're probably gonna fail without further ado this is Chanela from Kingston, Jamaica, and I'm about to tune out. But before I go, please check out my videographer's Instagram page, Andre Henry. 
right here he is doing dance videos now and um if you're like into all of that then you should totally go and follow him he did a great job helping me with those videos at school and also you may follow me as well on instagram here please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i just want to know your feedback towards this so bless talking now time to go this is chanel tuning out from things in america Miss Rupert, take you to do this. Miss.